Mark Taylor Canfield reporting from Seattle, and I can't believe that the Bar Harbor uh, is open. There's an open air mall behind me, and the doors are all open, and this is terrible air quality out here. I don't know why anybody would go in there, but uh, yeah, the city is full of smoke, so it's really hard to see downtown. I'll give you a shot here of what it looks like. Now there's my favorite place, the Kai Market. I wish it was open. That would be great, but it's been closed for a long time. But it's very smoky downtown. You can barely see the sun up there. It's trying to break through the clouds of smoke, but that's what the sun looks like right now. And this is the middle of the day in Seattle. Uh, yeah, that's the sun, folks. Somewhere up there. Uh, some places have been closed for a long time, including Henry's. So the sad thing is that Juliana and I, from originally from Brazil, uh, Sao Paulo, she and I wanted to go rafting this weekend uh, because she's really missing the sunshine. I mean, I think she's been missing the sunshine ever since she moved to Seattle, but we of course had to cancel all of our outdoor plans because the air quality is horrible. It's some of the worst in the world right now, so unless you are delivering the U.S. mail, which those guys are doing. So somebody has to work today, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> so I thank the mail carriers there uh, for doing their job on such a terrible day in terms of air quality. It's the worst I've seen. So I am going to go down to the lake here, to Lake Union, and show you what it's like. And you can compare uh, to what it was like a day or so ago when I was last here and did my report, but it's worse. So I'll show you in a second what it looks like down here. So I'm down at the Center for Wooden Boats right now, and it looks like a very foggy day, as it often does in Seattle, but that's not fog, that's actually smoke out in the distance. And the lights have turned on in the middle of the day in the park because the sun is almost hidden by the smoke, so the sun is just looking so weird today. So my idea, of course, is to get out of here as soon as possible because I don't want to breathe a lot of the smoke. I have two masks on. But that's not enough. I should have a gas mask, a respirator. So I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the Center for Wooden Boats. Here's the historic boats at the Museum of History and Industry, including the Virginia Five, the Duwamish. But you can't see beyond the docks because it's just smoke out there that's all there's nothing out there you can't see anything zero visibility so here are the other famous ships the Arthur Foss from the famous movie Tugboat Annie and the Virginia Five which is my favorite lady we tour or cruise on her quite a lot but if you look beyond the boats you'll see that You can't really see anything. I mean, I would never go boating on a day like this. You can't even see what's in the water. So it looks like we're walking to the edge of the world here. But actually, it's just a pier at the waterfront here in Seattle. But you can't really see the water. It's just completely socked in with smoke. That smoke. Believe it or not, that's a lake out there, folks and a ship canal. So it's just crazy. I mean, this is behind me is what you see and it's, that's not fog. That's all smoke. Uh, if the smoke wasn't here, you'd be able to see miles across this waterway to Gasworks Park 
and the other side of Seattle, but not today. Let's see if we can see the Space Needle at all. Okay, there's the Space Needle back there somewhere behind those cranes. Kind of hiding in the smoke. It's almost impossible to see. And normally this would be a great view of it. So out there, you see nothing. And then here on shore, there are very few people, a few people out, some without even masks, which is crazy. And that's the sun hiding behind the smoke. Somewhere up there. So this is Mark Taylor Kentrell reporting from the smoke in Seattle. As you can tell, it's uh, really socked in here. Can't really see anything. I hear a plane above me. It sounds like an airliner. I can't imagine flying today though because you can't see what's on the ground. So they're probably using instruments to land. I can barely see the sun at all. There's like one lone person, one lone brave person braving the smoke, but otherwise there's no one around. Yeah, shout out to all the men and women working today for the USPS, the US Postal Service. We appreciate your work. If it wasn't for the US Postal Service, I wouldn't have my new guitar. I bought a quarter size guitar, which is really crazy, this strange, bizarre guitar, but one of a kind. But uh, yeah, if it wasn't for the US Postal Service, I wouldn't have it. So thank you. Keep up the good work. Bartels is open, of course, the locally owned chain, family owned, but they're always open through thick and thin. They keep the community together here. So this is Mark Taylor Cantrell reporting from Seattle, where the smoke is hiding the sunshine and uh, people are staying indoors and I'm going indoors right now. My eyes hurt actually now. It kind of reminds me of, of tear gas, it just kind of burns your eyes after a while. And I don't have any kind of goggles on. So I gotta get indoors and get out of this. This is Mark Taylor Canfield reporting from Seattle for the MTC Report.